guys! How's it going? Friday night. Uh, I just had to come on here. I'm so, so happy right now. And I could not help to but come on here and share this love and this excitement with you. I remember 15 years ago, I was 13 years old, I just started middle school, 7th grade, and I went on my first church camp, or retreat is what they called it, and that is when I first encountered God for myself, and what a journey it has been. Ups and downs, downs, rock bottoms, ups, flying on wings like eagles, like I am right now. I'm just so happy, and these are tears of joy. And I just have to come on here and just thank God. have to thank him for saving my soul 15 years ago and for taking me on this crazy journey with him that now I get to come to a retreat with 1400 other leaders from Bible Study Fellowship here at the convention center I never thought I would live to see the day and I have to thank God for reaching down and saving my life 10 years ago when I was 18 years old and tried to take my life. And it wasn't the first time. I think it was probably the 10th time. But the last time he told me no, April. I have big plans for you. Stick around. God told me that when I was facing death right in the face, looking death right in the face, ready to just end it all. And he said, no. I have big plans for you. Stick around. And I did, and I trusted that voice, and I listened, and I followed after him, not perfectly at all. I stumble and I fall, but the difference between a saint and a sinner is that a sinner gets back up again, and they don't give up. And I just have to come on and thank God for saving my soul, for saving my life, and for giving me the opportunity to come here and be spiritually fed and encouraged and taught so that I can pour in to someone else who may be where I was 10 years ago or 15 years ago, lost and in darkness and about to lose everything. And I hope that God can use me to save someone else in the same situation. And I'm just going to show you just the glory and the goodness of God. And, and I don't, and I just mean this minimally, this where I'm at right now. I'm just so excited. I have to show you guys. Let me take off my light. I'm going to turn the camera. Okay. I am in Denver. This is my hotel room. Okay. I'm rooming with one of my friends from Bible study, okay? This is like top of the line. This is just beautiful. I can't even tell you how beautiful it is outside. It's a full moon. I was told there's supposed to be an eclipse tonight and some sort of some sort of shooting stars here is out the window. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to give you a good view. 
So just to the right there, that red that you see, and oh, my light's messing me up. Anyways, there's Denver, guys. There we go. That helps a little bit. There's Denver. That right corner, the red, that's the clock tower in Denver. Anyways, I just am so thankful to be alive to be surrounded by all of these amazing people. And I just want to encourage you that if you're going through a hard time right now, to just hold on, hang on, and don't give up. Because God loves you. He created you for a reason. He has a beautiful plan for your life. And through him, he can fulfill so much that you can't even imagine the things that he can do. Give him a chance. Just give him a chance. Because everything that you see from me, it has nothing to do with me or my goodness or because I deserve it, because I don't. It is because God is good and he loves me and he loves you. Give him a chance. Good night, guys.